It's time for the Porky Quiz. That music will put you in the mood for a bit of uh, seafaring, I that's dare a, say. That's a sea shanty. It is. And, of course, as I come from the world's most famous naval port, Portsmouth, mm-hmm. well, Gosport, the other side of uh, Portsmouth. The other side Harbour, of it, yeah. Uh, where the munitions um, store was for the British Empire, I feel very confident about okay. this Okay, well, mm. I'm very, very pleased you're confident. Let's see how you're going to get on. Of course, mm. as per usual, yeah. uh, we've got ten questions, uh, all uh, with uh, answers not chosen from uh, any kind of uh, multiple choice or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you get one right, uh, you will hear this sound. Yeah, I've got a chief duck. I've got a chief what? A chief duck, I think that was. OK, right, fine. Uh, if you get one uh, wrong, you'll hear mm-hmm. this. I find you guilty of mutiny. Oh, right, yeah, okay. That's probably from uh, the bounty. It may well be. Yeah. Uh, are you ready for question number one? I certainly am. How many brothers did Sir Francis Drake have? Uh, let me see. He was born as... Uh, right, thinking aloud, thinking aloud, thinking aloud. Big families in those days, and lots of kids died before they got to maturity. I know the answer to this one. He had 11 younger brothers. Correct. Thank you. Yeah, I've got a chief doc. Hey, hey, hey. Very suspicious, that. Hey, hey. Very suspicious. Question number two. Yes. Uh, which incident in 1568 caused Drake to seek revenge on Spain? Um, that was... That was his first military campaign over in South America, just off Panama. I think it was. it was when they tried... I think he was with his uncle uh, on his boat and they tried to invade a place called Luampa and unfortunately they were repelled by the Spanish and he vowed revenge evermore and took spectacular revenge over the next 20 years. I'll give you half a point for that. All right. Uh, because he was on board uh, uh, the ship of the uh, the Hawkins family. That's right, yeah. Uh, and he was, but he was in a Mexican port of San Juan de Alua. OK. Uh, so I think uh, you got the... Uh, I said the, Luampa because it was known as that as well. You got the general uh, gist of it right. So okay. half a point. One All and a right. half out of two. Very okay. good so far. Question right. number three. Yeah. Uh, where was Drake knighted by Queen Elizabeth? Um, well, he. I'll tell you what happened. He went off around the world in 1577 and he went to the Americas first and it's thought he was the first man to get from the north south east side of South America to the west via Cape Horn okay Mm -hmm. and then he made his way back by the uh, westerly route and he got back in 1580 and he brought back so much treasure booty so much booty that Queen Elizabeth had to found the Bank of England in which to keep it. To put it all in, yeah. To put it all in. And that started the, the British economy, started the British Treasury. That's got nothing to do with the question. He was, he was then knighted, uh, I think it was at Hampton Court Palace. Incorrect. No. I find you guilty of mutiny. It was on board his ship, the Pelican. Yeah, of course uh, it was. Also known, of course, as the Golden Hyde in 1581. Yeah. Uh, still one and a half out of three. Question number four. Yeah. What was Drake's rank during the battle with the Spanish Armada in 1588? He was Vice Admiral. Correct. Thank you. Yeah, hey. Whoa, whoa, Two and a half whoa, out of whoa, four. Uh, whoa, going whoa. very well. Question number five. Yes. Uh, in 1581, Drake yeah. became mayor of which English town? Uh, right. Now then. Hmm. Now, thinking aloud here, of course, his base for his boat was Plymouth, but he was a boy from Tavistock in Devon. And if that was his hometown and he went back and his 11 brothers were still around, I'm going to have to say Tavistock. Incorrect. No! It was actually Plymouth. It was Plymouth? Yeah. Well, why didn't you give me some sort of a look? Well, why would I give you a look? I'm not allowed well, to give I you a look. Well, I, I, I outlined I, the I, debate. I outlined I, the debate. It was, I said it was either Plymouth or Tavistock. Well, yeah, but you didn't get a choice there. It's either one or the other. That's, a, that's an outrage. Two it's and a half outrage. out of five. Question oh. number six. Yeah. Where is Drake's drum? Drake's drum. Where is it now? Yeah, where is it? It's in a weird place. It's... It's not in your locked room, is it? It's not my locked room, but... (laughs) It's... Drake's drum is, in fact... Let me think. Uh, It's it's not... It's not in a museum in Plymouth or anything like that. 
or it might be, or it might be in it might be in the Drake Museum in Tavistock. Incorrect. Um, no, I'm sorry. I was about to say thinking aloud. You were sorry. about to say. I was about to say thinking aloud. Right, I'll give you one more guess then. Right, but in fact, I think it's probably. I think it's still out in the Caribbean somewhere. I believe it to be in a in a museum in. I know where it is. I think it's in San Francisco. Incorrect. No. Are you guilty of mutiny? Uh, why would it be in San Francisco? Because it, there's a hotel in San Francisco called the San Francis Drake. Because yeah. he, he actually... Um, well, there's plenty of pubs called the San Francis Drake. It's not in yeah, any of them yeah, either. He, he pulled into harbour there on his way on his, on his world voyage. Mm. Where do you say uh, it is? It's in Buckland Abbey in Devon. Yeah, I knew that. Which is, of course, I knew where that. Used to live. Question number seven. I knew that. Uh, yeah. King Philip II offered a reward for Drake's death. How yes. much was it? It amounted to... Now, it was in Dublos, right? Dublos being the Spanish currency in those days. Are you sure it's Dublos? Yeah, I'm absolutely certain. And I think it was 20,000 Dublos, which is the equivalent today of £4 million. Pounds. That is correct. Hooray! Yeah, woo, I've got woo, a chief woo, 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 But it's 20,000 Ducats I'm, I've got here, rather than Dublos. Well, but you I, still get the point. I thought they called them Dublos. That's yeah. three and a half uh, so far out of seven. Yes. Question number eight. Yes. How many children did Drake have from his two marriages? Uh... His second wife was Sydenham, with with whom um, Margaret Sydenham, I think, with whom he hoped to have children because he didn't have any by his first wife, who sadly died uh, of the plague. But they never had any children. Didn't have any children. He had no children. No children. That's your answer. Correct. Uh, all right. yeah, I've got a chief woo, dog. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, this Goodness is storming out. Four and a half. Storming out, uh, out of eight. Uh, question number nine. Yes. Uh, where can you find an ocean-going replica of the Golden Hind? Ocean-going. Yeah. Well, there is a Golden Hind, believe it or not, outside a pub in Borough Market, about two miles from here. There is a... There is a uh... There's no point looking to me for inspiration. I can't, I'm not allowed by the rules of the quiz to give you any help. Whether that's ocean going on, I don't know. I would have to say, it almost certainly, it's going to be down in... Plymouth, uh, you know, like uh, Plymouth Hoe or something. So I'm going to have to say once again, uh, no, it can't be Plymouth Harbour. That's too obvious, isn't it? Thinking of Devonport, which is the Royal Navy base down there. Is that, is that, see, I mean, when you think about it, you see, Lord Nelson's boat, HMS Victory, mm. is in his home port of Portsmouth. So I assume, of course, it's not the original boat, is it? That's the problem. Uh, which, as you quite rightly say, was called the Pelican first. I'm going to have to say, um, it's going to be the one here. It's going to Borough Market in London. Uh, correct. Hooray! Yeah, I've got a chief woo, dog. Woo, woo. I thought you were going to move away from that for a moment. Yeah, but, well, yeah. You, yeah but you wanted actually, me to. No, I didn't, but I can't help you. Uh, technically, you were, technically, you were, it's actually Bankside. Expressionless on your face. Te- Expression. Technically, you wanted me to move to Plymouth. Technically, it is Bankside. Wow, this is incredible. So, incredible. I mean, I'm being... Uh, Score uh, now, uh, six and a half? Uh, five and a half, actually. Five and a half? Yeah, five and, six and, a half. and a half. Final mm. question. Question number right. ten. Right. Uh, what was Sir Francis Drake known as to the Spaniards? To the Spaniards... Mm. He had a nickname. Mm. Mm. Now, that nickname was based on his ginger beard, right? He, he was known as, I mean, they, you know, he was, he was their worst nightmare. He was their nemesis. He was a man who plundered ships uh, in the same way that you plunder beef burgers, if you see what I mean. That beef was, burgers? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who plunders beef burgers? That you do, you know, the way you plunder kebabs, that was as easy as you plunder ships. He was known as uh, El Devolo. Uh, <laughs> incorrect. Devil. Incorrect. No? Find you no? El Devolo, no. Uh, he was known as the Dragon, actually, which was El Drac. Well, El that was, well, that's I need I, I need half a point for that. Why? Because I said El Devolo. El Devolo. El de, that, that's 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 halfway there. Uh-huh. I knew it was. Not, I, no, I thought it was Devolo. Well, it would be El. Would, would it be El Diablo if it was uh, something to do with the devil? No, El de, and what do you say it was? Uh, El Drac. Well, I think. Uh, come on, that's very no, close. It's not close enough. I got the L bit right. Well, L is anything uh, you know. No, that's the, the, no. The, uh, the sort of definitive article. That's no, the. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm called Porky, not the Porky, right? So well, I got... you would be called El Porky. No, if I you wouldn't. Were in Spain. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. I, I, I look. I think the audience will say that you've got to give me half a point for that. Not at all. I think you have. Well, in that case, I could take half a point off you for saying no. uh, Borough Market instead of Bankside. No, rubbish. Because actually, Bankside is where the boat is, and Borough Market is right is right there. 